Saturday turned out to be a nightmare for a woman sleeping in her Utah home. A 12-foot-long boulder came crashing through her bedroom at 3 a.m. The 63-year-old woman was home alone when the rock came tumbling into her home. The Salt Lake City Tribune reports that she suffered a broken jaw and sternum. Fortunately, no one else was hurt. It's unclear what exactly caused the boulder to come loose. All right, uh, as we just saw uh, hours ago, and as I told you about in the beginning of the show, shots rang out in the campus of Lone Star College in Houston, Texas. Early reports indicate the shooting occurred between two students in the school's academic building, leaving three injured. Two of the victims suffered multiple gunshot wounds, and now we have a statement released by Lone Star College via its official Twitter account. Uh, Lone Star College confirms that the shooting was the result of an argument between two individuals. The statement also confirmed that three were wounded. Now the school wrote that the danger has been mitigated and the situation there is now under control. Classes at the Lone Star College campus have been suspended for the remainder of the day as police continue to investigate. We now stand beneath the shadow of the nation's capital whose golden dome reflects the unity and democracy of one nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all.
Malian city of Diaboli, life is slowly returning to normal following French Malian military efforts to regain control of the key town from Al Qaeda linked militants. Euronews correspondent Francois Chignac reports from Diaboli on how the conflict is developing. Securing Diaboli has allowed French soldiers to protect their northwestern front. Any further move northwards would have been impossible without this protection, since the risk of rebel operations from Diaboli on the French Malian front was significant. Soldiers from Chad have now arrived on Malian soil. A French officer told me that the Chadian soldiers were accustomed to fighting in the desert, which would be a great advantage when fighting the rebels or jihadists on their home turf. Yesterday in Diaboli, I saw for myself that these victories could lead to revenge. One resident told me that his brother was denounced to the rebels by a neighbor. He hasn't seen him since. Several residents have confirmed to me that as soon as the rebels arrive in a town, they offer money to men in exchange for their loyalty. Three deadly blasts have rocked Baghdad, leaving 17 dead and dozens wounded. A suicide bomber attacked an army base in Taji to the north of the Iraqi capital. A car bomb was detonated in the neighborhood of Shula, and an army checkpoint to the south was also hit. So far, no one has claimed responsibility for the attacks. Some of the people are accusing the Sunnis, but the Sunnis are our brothers. We blame this act on the Salafists, the Wahhabists, the Takfirists. They are to blame for this act, but they will not succeed in breaking our unity. You can see the damage in the burnt-out cars. What did those people do to be killed? The attacks come in the wake of rising tensions which erupted in Sunni protests last month, putting pressure on Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki to leave his post.